data, big topic. In fact, it's the biggest topic in statistics these days. What is big data about? Well, it means a lot of information. And really a lot of that information is generally related to what people do. So what you do with your credit card, where you travel, all of this information is put together in databases all over the world and people can look at how certain groups of the population do certain things. Really important because it's not about what people say they do, it's about what they actually do. Very powerful potential in this tool. However, one of the problems that we have with it is some of the normal statistical things that we use to evaluate the quality of, big da of, of data in general don't really work with, with big data. One of the big ones is significance. Now significance isn't the same thing that in, in, in terms of everyday conversation as it is in statistics. Significance actually has a, a, a statistical meaning. And what statistical meaning is associated with significance? It means that something wasn't due to chance, that you didn't just find it randomly, that there's actually a degree of correlation between a couple of things. The problem with big data is that everything is statistically significant. It's significance without significance. And the reason for that is because statistical significance is usually evaluated or calculated according to some sort of equation that looks a lot like this. And usually the denominator, the bottom of the equation, is the number of cases that you have. In this instance, there's an infinite number of cases, so everything looks statistically significant. So if somebody says, I've got this significant relationship that I've found, it may not actually be that significant. The next thing is causality. Causality implies that this one thing changing causes another thing to change. So for example, the more education you have, the higher your income is likely to be. So if somebody comes and says, I found this statistically significant relationship, the question is whether or not it's really causal, whether or not this one thing actually causes this other thing. And it's a little murky because of the significance problem. The next thing is, when you evaluate this, you really have to ask yourself the question of validity. Is something valid? Are they measuring what they say they're measuring? And usually a good conversation with somebody and looking at the questions that they used or looking at how they put the data together will tell you whether or not they've actually defined the problem that they're looking at correctly and in a way that you can understand it. Frankly, if you don't understand it, your readers and your viewers won't understand it either. So asking about validity, I think, is a really important thing. And finally, reliable. If I go out and, ask, uh, uh, go out and discover this here uh, that education is related to income, higher your education is, the higher your income is, then next year I should find something very similar to that if I did the research in exactly the same way. So just finding it once, yeah, I know I, you, you probably feel a need to put that in, the, in, 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 uh, in your reporting, but finding it twice really is something that should be reported because that means it's actually reliable. But you know what, all of this seems a little complicated, but since you're reporting on it to your readers, you have a right to know, your readers have a right to know, and the people who are giving you this information have a right or actually an obligation to tell you what it all means. So thanks, thanks for viewing. If you want to uh, uh, check out any more things on, uh, on statistics, take a look at our YouTube channel, but also you can follow me on Twitter at this address.